Hey, what's going? Today I will show you how to get VMware Fly app to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, you will have to get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course, just follow me. So we have to go to search on the Fire Stick, get the search bar, and start typing downloader in here. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. And just click on it, and here is the app, which you need to get. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet, because you still need to set it up. So to do that, we have to go to the settings by clicking this little button with a gear icon, scroll down and open My Fire TV. And from here, you have to turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then there's no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then open install on apps, and from here all you have to do is locate the loader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we have to go back to a list of apps on Fire Stick. There it is, open it. And there is the downloader, which we just got. However, before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say you will connect to UK right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in a description of this video, you will get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN, with free mass for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use it on loader safely. So we go back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick, open up the loader, and it's time to start using it. So you go to that search bar, and here you'll have to enter a code, which will be 9720849. So again, it's 9720849. That is the code you have to enter. Then you click Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the unload of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. 
Then you just click install and wait a bit until the app is fully installed. Then do not click open yet. Instead, it's better to press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on the Fire Stick. And it's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And then when you go back to the list of apps on your device, then here at the bottom you will find the Netfly application. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Right next to the Home button on your, on your remote. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.